Well, hello everyone. Uh, this is Alex Goulart. This is my family, Delta from Mexico, and the three kids, I know Avastian and Etienne. We serve in Paraguay, in Ciudad del Este, with GMI, Grace Ministries International. And this is a little bit of our city. This is where we live, where we serve, and we love this place. Uh, as you can see, it's a very relaxing place, so you're more than welcome to come and visit us. Just a few facts about Ciudad del Este, where we live. It's a triple border. It's borders with Argentina and Brazil. It's an open border, so you don't need even an ID to cross to Brazil. It's a tax-free zone, means that people can buy things without taxes and go back to their places and sell it for a better price. So there is a lot of people doing these businesses every day. There is more than 70 nations represented in the city. We love it. Different religions, different cultures, different languages, and it's a great opportunity to share the gospel with people from different backgrounds. And there is a huge Muslim population. There are other communities, but we are very intentional with the Muslim population because there is not much Christianity around them. This is the newest mosque that we have in Ciudad del Este. It's a beautiful building where you can study Arabic as well, like we studied for two years, and it's a place that where you can learn about the culture. And we, we, we have to do multicultural evangelism. We have to share the hope that we have in Christ with our neighbors and with our friends. For example, in this picture, you have our, my wife, Delta, sharing with a person in the park. We were playing with our kids in the park. We were not doing uh, an activity, per se, but we were just playing around with our kids. When this lady came to the, to the park, and we noticed that everybody was, like, moving, and, you know, they were a little bit scared and afraid. So my wife sit down and start sharing with her, and... This is the type of opportunities that we, we praise the Lord for, because we can share the gospel with people that nobody is sharing. That th these people can spend 20 years in Paraguay, and they may never hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. So we love to share the gospel with these type of people that normally they don't hear the gospel. These people that come into our house for advices and for counseling, and we spend hours, literally hours, talking with them. In this case, we are in a Buddhist temple, for example, just uh, a few blocks from our house. So we have Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus. Uh, for example, and this girl here came to visit his brother in Paraguay. We are friends with his brother. And she came all the way from India. And she came to our house with uh, his, uh, her brother for dinner. And we, we spent time with them. And we had dinner with them. And we shared the gospel with her. And after we finished sharing the gospel, we asked her, do you hear that before? And she says, no. She says, never? No, never. So you don't have Christian friends where you live? No. There is no any church around there? No. Missionaries? No. She never heard the, the gospel before. She says, no. So we praise the Lord for this opportunity, and we are super excited that we can share the gospel with, with people that never heard before. But at the same time, it's sad, because nobody shared the gospel with her. And... We, we love to be there in, in the heart of South America, uh, among different communities, sharing the gospel with people that never heard the gospel before. My wife is teaching Spanish as well to uh, these communities. Uh, you can see in the picture some people from Lebanon, people from Bangladesh, people from, people from Syria. And we do it for free. It's a service to the community. But in this way, we can get to know their husbands. We can get to know their families. We invite them to our house. In this picture, you can see a Syrian's refugees. Syrian's refugees that escaped from the war in Syria. And now they are in our house. And we can share with them. We can love them. And, of course, we can uh, preach the gospel to them. For example, these Syrian families, they, they came for a dinner, for breakfast, for, for lunch. We get to know their husbands. So... This is our part of our family. It's the way that we share the gospel with them. We do church planting as well. It's not just about evangelism. We, we do church planting, and we have a church. By the grace of the Lord and with the team that we have, we, we, we could start a church. And everything starts with the Bible study. The Bible study starts in our house uh, with a devotional and a couple of songs, but then more people came. And then we, we continue seeing more people coming. And then we couldn't be in, this, in the same little building that we are in our, in our living room. We need to move to another place. So we moved to a place, but God continues sending people. And after 
A second place, it was packed and we couldn't be there anymore. We moved to another place. And now this is the building that we are. And this is all because of the grace of the Lord. It's not because we are great missionaries. It's because of the grace of the Lord. But as missionaries, we work hard with our team. And we are in this place now. God continues sending people. We have a nice community of around 100 people uh, with 10, 12 different nationalities. We have a worship team. We have a pastor full time. We have an administration team. And we are so glad to see that a church that preached the Bible and preached Christ is a light to the region and a light to the city. This is the logo of our church. Iglesia Biblica Gracia means Grace Bible Church for all the nations, para todas las naciones, because we want to continue being intentional in reaching our neighbors, the communities, and the nations for the Lord. What's next for us in the ministry? Well, we want to buy a property, um, so hopefully you can pray for us and maybe get on board with us so we can uh, buy the property that we are uh, using right now. We want to open a theological seminary so we can train leaders and pastors. The closest one is six hours away from our city. So if we have a seminary, we can even invite pastors from different denominations and churches so we can bless them with a good training. We want to plant more churches. We have other cities, you know, with the, we know that there is no uh, Bible churches to go. So we want to plant more churches. And of course, we want to send missionaries to the nations because we want to be a missionary church. And um, please pray for us. Please pray for the missionary team there, for our family, and be part of what God is doing in Paraguay. I just want to finish with this quote from uh, Paul Washer. He says basically that there is two ministries in missions. Or you go down to the well or you hold the rope for the ones that go down. But either way you need to have, you need to have a scars in your hands. So we have the privilege of being there full time. We, we went down to the well. But we are not more important than you that you are holding the rope. So please hold the rope for us. Please come with us to Paraguay by supporting us financially or praying for us or just being an encouragement for us and be part of what God is doing in the world. Thank you so much. May God bless you.